Oh God, that you would be the peace that surpasses all understanding, oh God. Hallelujah, God. Somebody's head is hung down tonight, dear Lord God. But God, your word declares that you would be the lifter of our heads, oh God. Lift someone's head tonight, dear Lord God. Hallelujah, Father God. And Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you're lifting them up right now, God. In the name of Jesus. Father, somebody thinks, Lord God, that the enemy has come in like a flood but God we thank you that your word declares that you would raise up a standard against the enemy oh God and we thank you for the standard being lifted on tonight God in the name of Jesus hallelujah father be a fence around your children tonight my God mm be a fence around your children oh God in the name of Jesus hallelujah God lead and guide us oh God lead us in the pathway of righteousness oh God in the name of Jesus hallelujah God we cry out to you tonight dear Lord God to save oh God hallelujah God that you will save our unsaved loved ones dear Lord God God that you will turn their lives around oh God in the name of Jesus hallelujah God God, God, that your spirit will go out, Father God, and coerce them and persuade them to come unto you, oh God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, God. We pray tonight, God, God, that you will break and destroy the yokes of bondage, God. Every yoke of addiction, oh God. Every mental block, oh God. We come against it, dear Lord Jesus. And we say, save, Lord Jesus. We believe in your saving power, God. You saved us, God. God, you brought us out, dear Lord God, and the same God, hallelujah, you are the same God that delivered us and broke our chains, oh God, and you are the same God today that will break every chain, God, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, God, hallelujah, God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, God, that the drunk is putting down the alcohol, God, that the weed smoker is putting out the blood, oh God, that the monger is turning around oh God in the name of Jesus hallelujah God you are moving right now by your spirit oh God in the mighty name of Jesus God somebody's in a dark place oh God but God I thank you Lord that your word declares that you would be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path oh God we speak light in that place oh God light it up oh God light it up oh God light it up, oh God. Light it up, oh God. Light it up with revelation, God. Light it up, oh God. Light it up, oh God. Light it up with illumination, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, that somebody will come to you, Lord God, with hands lifted up, oh God, saying, what must I do to be saved? What must I do to have eternal life? What must I do to miss hell? What must I do to spend eternity with my father in the name of Jesus hallelujah God and God we thank you my God hallelujah God that you're moving right there God you're moving right there God somebody's crying out for their son somebody's crying out for their daughter hallelujah they said Lord I raised them right hallelujah you told us to train them up right but Lord they went wayward you told us to bring them to church oh God God, but they still doing what they want to do God but God I thank you for your faithful word God the same mercy and grace oh God that you showed to little old us God now God we pray Lord God your mercy and grace to cover them now God in the name of Jesus hallelujah God in the name of Jesus God go to the crack house my God Go to the motel room, God. Go to the street corners, oh God. Crips and bloods, oh God. In the name of Jesus, turn their lives around, oh God. Turn them around, oh God. In the name of Jesus, save their souls, oh God. Save them, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we send your saving grace. We send your saving grace right there where they are, oh God. In the name of Jesus, hey, my God. In the name of Jesus.
Jesus. Hallelujah, God. You're able, God. You're able, God. You will, God. You can, oh God. In the name of Jesus. And we thank you, God. Hallelujah. For your mercy has went out. It's going out, God. To touch them right now, God. To change their minds, oh God. To take away the habits, oh God. To straighten out their minds, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Thank you for the power of the Holy Ghost being released right now, God. Be released right now, God. To drive out the enemy, God. In the name of Jesus. To drive him out, oh God. Hallelujah, God. We declare tonight, God, that the enemy cannot have our kids. The enemy cannot have our loved ones, God. God, that they will serve you, Lord, in spirit and in truth, oh God. In the name of Jesus, prodigal son, come back. Prodigal daughter, come back. The Lord have need of you. The Lord has need of you. No matter where you're at, hallelujah. God has need of you tonight. God has need of you tonight. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. Let the fire of your anointing, God, kick down doors tonight, God. Hallelujah, God. Kick down mindsets tonight, God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, God. And God, we come, Lord, to say, Lord, you reign, God. You're reigning in their lives, God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, God. You reign, God. Hallelujah. You reign, mighty God. And God, even now, God, I pray for the people tonight, my God. Mm. I pray for the people tonight, God, because I realize, Lord, that the tormentor has been tormenting the people's minds, oh God, in the name of Jesus. But God, we tell him no tonight. Hallelujah. We tell him no, he cannot have our minds. No, you cannot have our minds. We declare the mind of God over our minds in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I thank you, Lord. You have given us all your word, God. God, you told us to cast down every imagination and every high thing that tries to exalt itself above the knowledge of God. God, we cast it down, God. We pull it down tonight. You lying spirit, we pull you down tonight. You tormenting spirit, we pull you down tonight. You hypocritical spirit, we pull you down tonight. In the name of Jesus, you can you cannot live here. You cannot live here. I wish somebody would go and open their doors and tell the devil, you cannot live here. You cannot have my house. You cannot have my home. You cannot have my children. You cannot have my mind. You cannot have my spouse. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Go now. Go now. Go now. Go now. Go now. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We don't want you. We don't need you. We don't need you. We need the spirit of the living God to fall afresh on us. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh on us. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh on us. Fall fresh on us. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And Lord, we thank you. We receive the freshness of your anointing, God. We receive it on tonight, God. We open ourselves to you God and we say Lord have your way God have your way in us oh God have your way oh God everything you see that's not like you God remove it God take it away oh God take it away oh God we want to do your will God in the name of Jesus we want to do your will God in the name of Jesus it's about you God it's about giving you glory it's about giving you honor God in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, hey my God, hallelujah, come on and bless the Lord right there, come on and give him praise, hallelujah, come on and give him honor, hallelujah, come on, hallelujah, right there where you are, hallelujah, somebody tell him hallelujah, hallelujah, begin to walk through your house and give God some glory, begin to give him some honor, in the name of Jesus, Lord, you're worthy. Lord, you're worthy of all the glory.
worthy. Lord, you're worthy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Mm. My God, I pray that right now that somebody's making up in their mind to recommit to God. Hallelujah. That somebody's thinking right now that I got to get my life straight. That somebody's thinking right now that this may be my last time. Hallelujah. And why I still have breath in my lungs. Hallelujah. While the blood is still running warm in my veins. Lord, I bless you. Lord, I give my life to you hallelujah lord i repent i want to be saved change me lord hallelujah god turn me in another direction god in the name of jesus hallelujah because i belong to you lord in the name of jesus hallelujah and so tonight hallelujah i want to pray hallelujah i want to pray for you tonight hallelujah glory to god hallelujah jesus my god Hallelujah. I want to pray for you tonight. Hallelujah. You feel confusion in your mind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because you're saying, God, why are you allowing this to happen? Glory to God. Why is God allowing this to happen? Hallelujah. Glory to God. We don't have all the answers, my God. We don't have all the answers. Glory to God. And God doesn't reveal everything to us. Hallelujah. But I'm reminded of his word. He said that if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray and seek his face turn from wicked ways then he would hear our cries and then he would heal our land is anybody out there hallelujah that can wave their hands tonight and say I'm turning from everything that's not like God I'm turning away from it I'm eschewing evil and I'm cleaving to that which is good hallelujah I'm walking out of darkness and I'm going to the marvelous light I'm putting it down I'm putting it down that I may gain Christ anybody want to gain Christ tonight hallelujah go ahead and tap in the screen hallelujah I want to gain Christ tonight I want to gain more of Christ tonight I want to be more like you Jesus hallelujah I want to love what you love I want to hate what you hate hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah, God. God, I'm struggling with some things. Hallelujah, God. But I know, God, that you're more than able. Hallelujah, Jesus. I know, God, that you are the redeemer. You are the saver of my soul, God. You work miracles, oh God. Hallelujah, God. Do it in me, Jesus. Do it in me, Jesus. Do it in me, Jesus. Do it in me, oh God. Hallelujah, God. Here I am, Jesus, broken, busted, and dusted. But Lord, I know that I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord. I need you to saturate me. I need you to purify me, God. I need you to cleanse me, oh God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I want to live Bible saved. Hallelujah. I don't care what your interpretation is. I want to live Bible saved. I want to live, hallelujah, like the Bible say I can live. I want to stand on the word of God, hallelujah, with all my heart, with all my soul, with all my mind. Oh God, hallelujah, let your word live through me, God. Hallelujah, God. I want to stick to the script, oh God, and live, Lord, what you said I can live, God, and be who you said. I can be oh God and do what you said I can do oh God in the name of Jesus hallelujah 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 glory to your name oh God hallelujah Jesus mm. 
glory to your name Jesus hallelujah we thank you father God hallelujah that you have been good to us God hallelujah you have been better to us than life itself oh God hallelujah God oh God when we look over our life God we know that you have been good to us oh God thank you for your goodness oh God we should have been dead and gone but your mercy kept us oh God hallelujah God hallelujah should be sick and dying oh God but God we thank you for grace God that stood up for us oh God in the name of Jesus hallelujah God anybody grateful for um, grace and mercy anybody grateful that you're still here and you know by right hallelujah you should not be here hallelujah glory to God but it was the Lord who is rich in mercy hallelujah and it endures forever and ever and ever hallelujah we thank you father God in the name of Jesus hallelujah glory to God hallelujah we want to encourage you tonight hallelujah to put that prayer request because we want to pray for you glory to God we want to um, tap into you amen on tonight and get personal glory to God for we know that God has a plan for you we know that God wants to restore you he wants to heal hallelujah he wants to feel glory to God he wants to make a way for you he wants to open doors for you glory to God he wants to do it for you but have you opened your mouth to your father have you talked to him hallelujah have you told him all about your problems glory to God you have to give it to him glory to God God wants to make an exchange but you got to open your mouth hallelujah you got to open your mouth glory to God hallelujah to put it on that screen hallelujah put it on that screen what you want God to do for you hallelujah and we're gonna pray and we're gonna stand in agreement with you hallelujah that God hallelujah the God of impossibilities hallelujah our great God our sovereign God hallelujah will step in right on time hallelujah do you believe it on tonight I need you to tap on that screen and say I believe God come on tap on that screen I believe God I believe God hallelujah I believe God for my miracle come on somebody I believe God is gonna save my family come on somebody hallelujah glory to God I believe God's gonna turn it around glory to God I believe God's gonna fix it glory to God hallelujah do you believe God tonight come on somebody should be saying yes top the screen yes I believe God I believe God come on somebody I want to build up your faith because God can do anything but fail he can do everything that we need him to do come on somebody I believe God I believe God come on walk around your living room I believe God I believe God let your neighbors think you lost your mind I believe God I believe God I believe God I believe God I believe him hallelujah I believe God hallelujah I believe God hallelujah and we're gonna stand in agreement with you because you believe God see whatever you believe him for glory to God because my faith is not your faith you gotta have your own faith you gotta trust God you gotta believe in God you got to hold on to God's word. Hallelujah. You got to take him at his word and know that it is right. It's true. It will never fail you. It will never let you down. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. God bless.
This is what they felt like when it happened. And today, it's how we should feel too. Because what it meant for them, it means for us. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. We want to thank God, amen, as the prayers touched heaven right now. Amen. And as Evangelist Michelle said, we're praying that you sent in those prayers. But glory be to God. If you were touching and agreeing while she was praying, we believe the Lord actually did it already. Amen. That is already done in Jesus' name. Amen. And every morning you can get up amen and be a part of the prayer line so that you can continue to touch heaven amen you know this has been a wonderful resurrection i just want to thank the lord for but as the church is inviting me in you know i have a very busy tour schedule you know with my singing you know i um you know so they flew me in amen all the way from northwest fresno and I just want to sing a little song that the Lord put on my heart. Is that all right? It's going to be on my next album called The Church Has Left a Building. Didn't have to do it, but he did. Oh, didn't have to do it, but he did. Brought me out of darkness into the marvelous light. Didn't have to do it, but he did. Come on and sing with me all on this. Didn't have to do it. But he did. Oh, didn't have to do it, but he did. Brought me out of darkness into of his life. Didn't have to do it, but he did. Oh, he didn't have to save me, but he did. Oh, didn't have to save me, but he did. Brought me out of darkness. Into the mom's life Didn't have to save me But he did Oh Didn't have to free me But he did Oh Didn't have to free me But he did Brought me out of darkness Into the mom's life He didn't have to free me But he did Now say this say Victory, victory shall be mine. Oh, victory, victory shall be mine. I hold my peace. Let the Lord fight my battles. Victory, victory shall be mine. Come on, tell your family, say joy, joy shall be mine. Oh, joy, joy shall be mine. If I hold my peace, let the Lord fight my battles. Oh, joy shall be mine. Oh, oh, victory, victory. Come on, hold it up here. Oh, victory, victory shall be mine. If I hold my peace, let the Lord fight my battles. Victory. Victory shall be mine. Oh, one more time. Victory, victory shall be mine. Oh, victory, victory shall be mine. If I hold my peace, let the Lord fight my battles. Victory, victory shall be mine. It 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 shall be mine. If I hold my peace, let the Lord fight my battles. Victory, victory shall be mine. Come on, put your hands together at home. Go on and praise Him. We thank God for the victory on tonight. Glory be to God.
victory, victory shall be mine. Oh, 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 oh. victory, victory shall be mine. If I hold my peace, let the Lord fight my battles. Victory, victory. There's another old song we used to sing. It said, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Oh, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. For there's no other name I know. Come on. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Oh, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. It's that wonderful name of Jesus. Oh, there's no other name I know. There is power, power, wonders working power in the blood of the Lamb. Power, power, wonders working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Oh, there is healing, healing, wonders working healing in the blood of the Lamb. There is healing, healing, wonders working healing in the precious blood of the Lamb. Oh, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Come on, come on. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. For there's no other name. Hey, no other name. No other, no other name, 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 there's no other name, there's no other name, there's no other name, no other name. No other name, no other name. Come on and say, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Oh, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. For there's no other name I know. Oh, hallelujah. Glory be to God. And Lord, we glorify you. And we thank you. And we give you all the honor. Glory be to God. Because he's worthy of the honor and of the praise. And on this resurrection, I want you to know he can do anything but fail. And he's worthy of all other glory. Hallelujah. There's a song, amen, that we used to sing. It says, Jesus, precious Savior, he is worthy to be praised. Come on at home if you know the song. Follow me. Say, praise him. Praise him. Oh, praise him, Jesus, precious Savior. You know why? Because he's worthy to be praised. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Say, say praise him. Praise him. In spite of how you feel tonight, come on, say, praise him, <laughs> praise him. I love him tonight, do you? Come on. Jesus, precious Savior, he's worthy to be praised. Come on, say it one more time. Praise him all over. Come on, say it. Praise him. 
Come on, let them hear you all over the county. Come on. Praise. If you're in another part of the country, come on, sing with us. Say, praise. Come on, type it in on your screen. Come on, say, praise him. Who is he? His name is Jesus. Precious Savior, precious Savior. He's worthy to be praised. Oh, God is my rock. Come on, somebody. Come on. Rock of salvation. He's a strong deliverer. Come on, sing with me. A strong deliverer. And in him I will always trust. Come on. In him our Lord Ways trust Give him glory Say glory Glory hey. ha. Glory Give him all the glory What's his name? Come on say Jesus Precious Savior Precious Savior, He's worthy. I need you to like and share, like and share. Come on, one more time. God is my rock. Hey, say, God is my rock. I got a testimony tonight, y'all. Come on, rock of salvation. Hey. Asian. Come on, you gotta like and share this part right here. He's a strong, a strong deliverer. In him, our Lord, ways to run. Hey, give him glory. Lord Jesus, come on. Jesus, come on, say Jesus again. Come on. Jesus, come on, come on. What's his name? Come on. Jesus, come on, come on, and say his name. Come on. Jesus. Now make it churchy, Chris. Come on, come on. Say Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Say Jesus. Say Jesus. Say. Jesus, say Jesus, say Jesus. He's a lily in the valley, say Jesus. He's the healer of my soul, say Jesus. He's the lily of the valley, say say Jesus. Say G G G G G G G G G G. Say His name, Jesus, precious Savior. Precious Savior, He's worthy to be praised. Hey! Hallelujah! 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 Glory be to God! Glory be to God. Hallelujah. God is my rock. My rock of salvation. Woo. Glory be to God. His name is Jesus. Woo. Glory be to God. Jesus. Some of you are still singing out there. Amen. His name is Jesus. Jesus. Hey. Glory be to God. Say his name is Jesus. Say his name is Jesus. Woo! Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus is his name. And I don't know about you, I still get chill bumps when I hear the name of Jesus. The saving name of God. The divine utterance that God ascribes to himself. 
Jesus, precious Savior, he's worthy to be praised. Well, God bless you on tonight. I know some of you, amen, I know that they told me, uh, my daughter kind of keeps me up and makes sure that I understand how things are supposed to go on social media, and she pointed out to me, you know, she said, Dad, people don't like to watch long stuff, and so I apologize for that, amen, amen, but when, when we start praying, amen, ain't, 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 ain't no time to do no cookie cutter prayer. Amen. And the show ain't no time to give him no cookie cutter praise. That's probably how we ended up in this mess right now. Amen. People didn't want to give him the glory. But I come to give him the glory on tonight. And I come, amen. I come to work for you, the people. Amen. Amen. To work for you, the people, and toil and sow the word of God into your life. And I thank God for you, amen. I give glory for our media team, our worship team, and all of you who joined us all day today. God bless you for joining us all day today for the word of God and for making sure that you had resurrection. I do want to point out a couple of things. Number one, I want you to like and share as always, amen. Those are two things you're going to always hear me continue to say, like and share. But I also want you to sow a seed. I want to thank our God for all of you who sowed your seed today. And some of you may be from another church. You might be from another area. And you say, well, well, you know, I gave to my churches. God bless you for that. Amen. You should always be faithful to the house where you eat. On tonight, I am asking you, amen, text B2EXP to 77977 and help the Bethesda churches and Champion Center Church continue to move forward in ministry and we also wanted to take a portion of the proceeds tonight the offerings tonight and use it to be a blessing to our first responders we wanted to get them some lunch one of those shifts are going to be blessed because they are doing so much i was speaking to <clears throat> minister ryan this morning our youth pastor and He's a first, uh, first responder. And I said, how is it in there? He said, you know, we just, it's routine. We wash our hands. We keep ourselves, you know, distance. We do all of those things that we're supposed to do. Glory be to God. And we thank God for all of them. And we want to bless them. So I want you to sow that seed at this time. I also want to just put the announcement out there once again to the African-American community. Um, this COVID-19 is killing um, a high rate, or I should say, uh, causes of death through complications with COVID-19 is taking too many African Americans out of here. And there's a couple of reasons for that. Number one is our lifestyles, and we also are predisposed uh, to things like heart disease, um, blood disease, and things of that nature. Everything seems to hit the African American community much harder and i also want all of you to listen to my voice we got to keep some of these voices at bay that don't want us to use african-american that's ridiculous all right we have to speak directly to our community to say we need to keep ourselves healthy most of us have some type of pre-existing condition, whether it's asthma, whether it's heart disease or something like that. Make sure that you're washing your hands, you're keeping yourself because this type of influenza, or it's not an influenza, but this COVID-19, this coronavirus, um, it impacts the lungs and is taking too many African-Americans out of here. And so I want you to be healthy and I want to see you back in the house of God. I also don't want you to get used to sitting up at home, amen, just being comfortable that I'm going, you know, just have church at home. Right now, that's what we're doing, but I pray that you never get to that. I want to come into the house of God. I want to be around the saints of the living God. Amen. Ain't nothing like seeing my 
brother and sister who's been in a trial all week long, just like me, and we come together and praise God. For those of you who are connected to the ministry and those without, we're going to have certain Bible studies for you that are going to be on Zoom. So when you see me put that out, I want you to get that code, and I want to see you on Zoom. Some of you last week came on Zoom, but you didn't want to show your face and all of that kind of stuff. We want to see you. We want to be a blessing to you. Let's get right to the word of God in 2 Corinthians in chapter 4. 2 Corinthians chapter 4. There's a familiar passage here, but the Holy Spirit lifted out one verse that I wanted you to see. We're going to read several verses, but there's one verse that I want out of this. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 4, and it starts in verse 7. It says, but we have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed always bearing about the body in the body the dying of the lord jesus that the life also of jesus might be made manifest in our body it goes on to say in verse 11 for we which live are always delivered unto death for jesus sake that the life also of jesus might be made manifest in our mortal flesh Verse 12, so then death worketh in us, but life in you. We, having the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believed and therefore have I spoken. We also believe and therefore speak. Some of you didn't like and share. You need to like and share. Verse 14, knowing that he which raised up the Lord Jesus shall raise up us also by Jesus and shall present us with you for all things are for your sakes that the abundant grace might through the thanksgiving of many rebound redound um, to the glory of God verse 16 for which cause we faint not but though our outer man perish yet the inward man is renewed day by day. I want you to see that once again in verse 14. It says, knowing that he which raised up the Lord Jesus shall raise up us also by Jesus and shall present us with you. Can you say amen? I want to preach to you tonight from the title, The Same God the same God. What's interesting when you study the word resurrection, the most used word in the Greek for resurrection is anastasis, anastasis. And anastasis literally means to stand up and to recover. It's ana, which means up, stasis, which is to stand. And so the Lord shows us by the use of the word anastasis that a resurrection means that one was down or dead and now they have the ability to stand. It is not just them coming back to life. Rather, it speaks to a disposition that they have when life comes back into their life. He puts it this way in John 11 and 25, when it comes to Lazarus, he says, Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection, I am the anastasis and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. In this use of the word of anastasis, it's the Lord showing us that he is the resurrection. He is the one that brings one back to a place to where he can stand up. I know some of you have tried to stand up on your own, but you can't stand up on your own. You need a God, glory be to God, that's going to resurrect you and bring you back on your feet. They want us to trust in philosophy. They want us to trust in our education. They want us to trust in our careers. But I want you to know none of that is a sign that you actually have been resurrected. 
It is only when the Lord comes into your life and he stands you up that you truly can stand. A foolish man built his house on sand and he thought that the house was standing. But when the winds began to blow, he found out that it was on a faulty ground. When the Lord resurrects you, can't nothing kill you. When the Lord resurrects you, can't nothing block you. When the Lord says you shall live and not die, ain't nothing a disease can do about it. I want you to know that some of you have fought off and didn't know how you did it. You have fought off all types of danger. Some of you have been missed by bullets, missed by accidents, missed by other diseases, missed by circumstance, missed by poverty, missed by all of the markers that when we do our scientific study on what's supposed to happen with people, we would say this person is supposed to be dead. I wish there was somebody out there that says, I know I was supposed to be dead, but thanks be to God that when I was dead in my trespasses and sin, he was my anastasis. He was the God that resurrected me back to life and stood me up on my feet and now when the winds blow I might slip but I don't fall because God is holding me holding me up can you say amen but there's another word and it's agersis e e it's agersis and that is a resurgence it's only used one time in scripture which is very interesting and is used when describing Jesus himself and the resurrection yeah agersis it is a resurgence it is a, res a, res a, a, a arousal it is as it were an excitation and an excitation is when a divine energy goes into a particle it's agersis it is the divine energy of the universe it is the God the Alpha and the Omega this God that is the eternal one when it begins to trespass or to intrude on a particle or on a thing that thing has to come back to life makes sense now when it says in Matthew 27 and 53 it says and all of the dead and I'm gonna talk about it in a moment they came out out of their graves after his resurrection you see you see it was his resurrection that now began to be a into the dead it became divine energy into the dead and began to bring them back to life you see when God a you amen it's his divine energy it's not by the medicine you take I know some of you giving credit to your medicine I believe that all wisdom and knowledge comes from God whatever they cooking up in the pharmaceutical company and mixing up you need God to bless it amen or you'll have complications with this amen I've been listening to a, a, a discussion or an argument and I think these people just mad something is wrong with these folk glory be to God I'll leave it alone because some of you don't want me to talk like that but something is wrong with some of these people y'all listen to on the news amen they get mad at this thing called hydroxychloric and something like that hydroxychloric something something hydroxy hydrox something they getting upset with it simply because the president put it out there so they said it can kill you it can hurt you but if I'm on my deathbed and ain't nothing else working just give me whatever I can take in order to get me back to life so the people don't want the people to take the hydroxy whatever it is but there was a, a, a representative in Michigan African American a sister amen and she said she was on her deathbed and they said ain't nothing we can do so she told her husband uh, go on and get that hydroxy whatever it is from the pharmacy and, and he went to the pharmacy and she said in four hours she was feeling better her headache went away and her life started coming back to her you know she needed something to trespass or to come into her body to give her that life again she needed something to dry up the virus that was running in her lungs I want you to know there's something better than hydroxy whatever it is and it's called the power of God it is the agersis it's when God decides and I'll never understand how he decides to allow one of us to slip into eternity and the other one to come back to life somebody had very healthy they had a very healthy disposition they used to work out every day they ate right did all the things right but here it is they got a little bit of bacteria and it seemed like nothing went to the doctor and the doctor told them it's it 
ain't nothing we can do and they die but somebody else has been living all kind of wild glory be to God and here it is just because God has a separate plan on their life he has the ability to even hold them and when the doctor is saying it ain't gonna work God will bring them back I'll never understand that you would think that if you did everything right you would be kept from the evil of this world but I found out it takes the provision of God it takes the sanctioning of God it takes a man the providence of God to give you favor on your life this morning as the people were driving through the parking lot I was just praying God's favor on their life oh yes I had on my mask they had on their mask I had on the gloves amen we had on the eye goggles because I don't want nobody thinking they came here to get nothing nothing but the power of God but as I begin to pray I could literally see the covering of God being all over their family that he was blocking bacteria and viruses from coming and intruding into their children and the Lord says if you are taking anything poison it shall not hurt you amen God decides to be the exorcist in our life but there are 10 cases tonight that I wanted to give you amen this is not a cookie cutter message tonight I'll try to rush but I got to give it to you like God gave it to me uh, understand here that there are 10 resurrections in scripture and I found a resource by Jeffrey Krantz uh, and what he did was he put it together in a very creative way there's 10 cases in scripture in which there was a resurrection you see, Deacon Olakani, what people don't understand is Jesus was not the first resurrection of any man. There were other resurrections in scripture, but what I'll explain it in a minute, Jesus has a unique resurrection. Number one, what you should know is there's only two types of resurrections in scripture, one by human agent and one by God direct. You understand what that means, right? Uh, glory be to God. Most of us use an agent when we get our mail we use an agent when we get our email you see the email that you're receiving is not going directly from one person to the other it has to go through an agent it goes through Google or it goes through Yahoo it goes through AOL some of you old enough to have had AOL amen when it said you got mail it, it has to go through an agent the United States Postal Service when you when you put your your mail outside it doesn't just shoot over to whoever you're sending it to it has to go through an agent and if the agent is flawed then the delivery will be flawed and if the agent don't feel like it today then the mail will be late so you got two types of resurrections one is the resurrection that comes via an agent and another comes directly from God the first resurrection we see is in 1 Kings and 17 and that's with the widow of Zarephath. This was a woman of God that was kind to the man of God uh, and her son died uh, and she had to call Elijah and this is what Elijah does. He takes the boy up into the room and he lays on the boy because anytime uh, God is going to raise you up, uh, he might send an agent to lay on on you one of the things that I try to do for the people of God here is I try to lay the word on them amen because if you're gonna be resurrected the way the New Testament church resurrects people is by the word of God so I have to lay the word on you I gotta lay it on you until you don't want to get up again I gotta lay it on you until it resuscitates you I gotta lay it on you until you get your eyesight back gotta lay it on you until you get your vision back gotta lay it on you till you can hear the word of God so the widow at Zarephath her son was brought back by Elijah now the second resurrection is powerful that's the Shunammite woman that's the woman who was very kind to the man of God and this was Elisha she was kind to the man of God so he said what do you want me to do for you she said you know don't mess with me now um, and his servant said she does not have a son so this is what he does he says this time next year you're going to be blessed with a son sound familiar glory be to God says you're going to be blessed this next season and the Bible says that she became pregnant with child and the child grew up uh, but have you ever received a blessing from God uh, and all of a sudden seemed like the blessing got sick 
Amen. Seemed like the thing that God told you was going to happen. And now all of a sudden, uh, it seems like a God said he told you to buy that car. Now you can't pay for that car. Told you to buy that house. But now you're struggling to make the mortgage because now all the jobs are down. Uh, it is possible for you to receive a blessing from God. Uh, and then it seemed as though it's about to die. But I want you to know that the same one that gave it to you can resuscitate it. Hey man, when you start going through troubles, uh, don't start running around like you ain't got no God. Uh, the same God, amen, that delivered this boy is the same God that can bring your blessing uh, back to life. Can you say amen? If you're typing in the margins, uh, say amen, amen, amen. Understand that what he does is he goes himself and he lays on the boy as well. And the Bible says, this is in 2 Kings 4, he lays on the boy out eye to eye, mouth to mouth, nose to nose, uh, hand to hand uh, and he resuscitates the boy until his body becomes warm. I believe somebody's blessing is warming up right now. I believe that even in the midst of this trial that God is warming something up from you. He's resuscitating it back to life. Uh, understand here then this third uh, instance of resurrection uh, still deals with Elisha. The Bible says that Elisha was buried in the tomb and the Moabites went to bury one of their compadres uh, one went to put him in the tomb I want you to know that God hallelujah when he anoints you you're even anointed in death amen uh, Elijah's bones were happened to be in the tomb uh, that they were using and when they went to throw the man's body in it touched the bones of Elijah and the man woke up and came back to life uh, I want you to know when God gives his agurses uh, amen whatever touches it begins to come back to life uh, this is what the woman of issue with the issue of blood understood uh, she said if I can just touch uh, the human of his garment uh, I know I shall be made whole. Uh, the next time we see resurrection is in the life of Jesus Christ. And the first instant is in the woman of name, uh, the widow of name. She's in a funeral procession y'all know how we do amen we walk the body out she's walking him out to the outer parts of the city which in Jerusalem they named that shell that's where the name hell comes from because many of them that could not afford a proper burial they would take it out to a place to be burnt can you imagine this widow crying because now not only is her only son dead but her financial ability to survive is also dead uh, she's coming out to the gate uh, and the bible says that jesus he was about to pass by and he saw this funeral procession i want to stop your funeral procession today and say that if you can just get jesus to come by he can do some egerses in your life uh, the bible says that jesus stopped and he touched the briar as it were and the boy came back to life uh, the second time in Jesus' life of resurrection was Jairus' daughter. Y'all remember the story? The Bible says Jairus, who was a ruler, came to Jesus and he said, Can you touch my daughter? Jesus says yes I will come and Jairus was expecting him to come right away but something got in the middle uh, of his breakthrough and it was the woman with the issue of blood uh, have you ever asked God to do something for you but it looked like it was taking too long uh, seemed like something was holding it up you're like I got to pay my rent today some of you right now are worried about amen your landlord uh, has told you I'm going to give you until the 15th uh, but that's all and we got to move to another process. Uh, I want you to know that don't allow for delay to make you think you've been denied just because it's delayed does not mean uh, you've been denied uh, and the Bible says that Jesus had enough time uh, to stop and deal with the woman uh, with the issue of blood to talk to her and still make it to Jairus' house uh, when he got there all the people were crying he said don't even come no more Lord uh, she's already dead uh, but Jesus who is the egerses in our life uh, he says she is but sleeping 
sleeping. Some of your blessings are asleep right now. I believe the Lord is about to wake it back up. I know that I came here tonight with a need for the church as a whole. And I believe that just because there's a delay, it does not mean he has denied. I want you to type it into the screen. Delay does not mean deny. Delay does not mean deny. Y'all not typing. Uh, you listening. Some of y'all preachers are listening to the message too. I know you listening. Uh, go ahead and type in. Delay does not mean deny. Uh, amen. The third time Jesus enters into resurrection power was in the time of Lazarus. Uh, Lazarus, amen, was his friend. Uh, and Jesus, when he got the word, he said, Lazarus. Uh, amen is dead and I am glad uh, he said because I want to show some glory out of this uh, because the world will not listen uh, until all of their crutches uh, don't work anymore uh, I truly believe that God in this season uh, is kicking the door down and kicking all of our crutches from under us uh, everything that we used to prop up instead of God uh, all of our idols everything that we prop up and we think it's something uh, every leader that we think is something uh, every actor that we think is something uh, what I notice about the COVID-19 uh, it don't matter if you're black white Asian amen uh, Jew or Greek uh, amen the plague is hitting everybody uh, all of y'all was worried about race relations and all of that uh, but now with the COVID-19 I ain't heard none of that uh, I ain't heard nothing about who's rich and who's poor uh, have you noticed some of the people that you idolize and you keep giving your money to see all they movies uh, they sitting up in COVID-19 uh, celebrating it online and getting more licks on their Twitter feed uh, while they sit up in their mansion uh, but if you get COVID-19 in your one bedroom apartment uh, without any income coming in it might be the death of you uh, but still we celebrate all of these people uh, I want you to know the Lord is taking the esteem out of all of these folk uh, he's trying to get his people to the place uh, to where all they can see is God uh, and the Bible says he allowed Lazarus to die not just one day not just a second day not just a third day but he allowed him to be dead four days he allowed him to be dead four days a day longer than he himself would even go through but when Jesus shows up to the tomb he's not care scared about it he says father I'm praying because I know that you listen to me but I'm doing it for them so that they can know that I am the resurrection and the the life you see the Lord wants to get some glory out of our life so he's allowing for us to go through the dead things right now so he can be our exerces he's going to be the divine energy that brings us back to life if the economy is going to come back it's not going to come by a stimulus bill I know y'all thought I was a prophet the other week because I told you three weeks ago when they passed that stimulus bill uh, that it wasn't going to be enough uh, and now they done went amen and tried to get 250 billion more dollars because uh, they said that the first stimulus wasn't enough uh, the democrats done blocked it uh, because they want a lot of foolishness uh, the republicans want this and the democrats want that and don't none of them care if people die uh, but i want you to know that there is somebody that cares if you die uh, and his name is jesus Christ uh, he says let me be the exerces uh, in your life uh, I'm almost done here understand here that there's two more instances uh, of resurrection you see Peter went into the house uh, of Dorcas that is Tabitha and that's in Acts chapter 9 he goes in glory be to God I see you amen uh, amen he goes into the house uh, and what the people at the funeral do uh, I tried to tell some of you guys a couple of weeks ago when you die you can't take nothing with you uh, the people are already sizing you up they looking at your sizes uh, in fact one of my bishop friends called me uh, hey man we talked yes it was yesterday uh, hey man good buddy of mine uh, and he was talking about how somebody had passed uh, and they had given the 
family had given him all these suits uh, and he said uh, uh, Tobias uh, what size you wear because uh, I got more suits than I need I said Lord have mercy uh, don't worry about me putting on a dead man suit uh, y'all not going to help me preach today uh, hey man I'd rather go on Amazon and buy one for $30 uh, before I put on a dead man suit uh, so I told him I'm 42 long he said oh that don't fit you I want you to know that people are sizing you up and that's what they did to Tabitha uh, when he comes in they said look at all of the things that she had made uh, but Peter put all of them out uh, sometimes in order for you to have resurrection you gotta put some people out uh, the thing that's keeping for the egerses from taking place in your life uh, is you got too many naysayers around you uh, hey man I told Antoinette if I get sick don't you let no unfaithful folk into my room uh, I ain't looking for no looky loos to come up in there uh, talking about oh he sure do look bad the devil is a lie uh, amen turn off my Facebook uh, I'm just looking for somebody that believes in the power of the egerses uh, the Bible shows us another instance his name uh, was Eutychus uh, I'm preaching tonight Lord have mercy uh, amen egerses uh, amen excuse me Eutychus uh, is a young boy in Acts chapter 20 and he's sitting up listening to the message of Paul y'all hear me what I'm saying now he's listening to Paul's message Deacon Olakani uh, and he begins to go to sleep uh, and then this is where I wanted to shift into another gear uh, because Eutychus is representative of the church this day uh, amen we've been lullaby to sleep uh, the Lord knew that we had become so complacent uh, that we fall into sleep in church uh, when you go to your favorite movie you don't ever have to get up to go to the restroom uh, but when our churches were open uh, you got to get up every two seconds to go out to look outside uh, the Lord is saying I know what to do uh, I know how to shake you up uh, and Eutychus falls asleep uh, and he falls from the second floor of the house uh, and he is dead and dead dead uh, but Paul comes uh, and he begins to operate in the egerses uh, and the boy begins to come uh, back to life uh, which leaves me with the last three Three instances in scripture that the Lord resurrects somebody. Uh, the first time is when Jesus got up. Uh, amen. Amen. It was the saints that also got up. Uh, you see, Jesus led captivity captive uh, and he brought all of them into the throne of grace. Uh, I want you to know that when Jesus got up, uh, glory be to God, all of the Old Testament saints, uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob uh, they all began to get up but what I don't want you to miss uh, is every instance that I've given you in scripture glory be to God uh, it's been with an agent resurrecting somebody uh, but when it comes to Jesus Christ uh, there was no agent that could have resurrected him uh, he is the resurrection and the life uh, there was no prophet that could have come to his tomb uh, and said Jesus it's time to get up uh, so the Bible Bible says wherefore God has highly exalted him because it took the immutable power of the living God to exerces him back to life he is the only one in scripture that did not have a human agent to bring them back to life and I say Lord what are you telling the church tonight he says Tobias I want you to let them know that I'm the same God I'm the same God that spoke the world into existence I am the same God I'm the same God that calls for agents to resurrect in the Old and New Testament I am the same God so now in our text tonight we see Paul is helping us understand the resurrection he's helping us understand uh, that amen now that we have the power of God on the inside uh, we have both the anastasis and the egerses on the inside uh, for resurrection power uh, the resurrection power of the anastasis uh, and the egerses uh, comes to do two things number one it resurrects you back to life in Christ Jesus uh, oh yes it does uh, things you 
used to do you ain't gonna want to do no more uh, I can't believe you call yourself a child of God uh, and you're comfortable in the sin can't be comfortable uh, because when I have the anastasis and the exerces on the inside of me uh, it brings me back to life in Christ uh, number two it brings me to a place to where when things die in my life uh, I have the power to speak to that thing uh, and it's got to come back as God called it to uh, number three when I die on this side uh, if the rapture does not take place first uh, I have enough power on the inside of me just like Elisha's bones uh, and when the trump sounds uh, my bones are going to literally hear it uh, and they're going to be disintegrated down uh, and become an immortality uh, my flesh is going to take off uh, and I'm going to put on the immortality of the kingdom uh, because I live with the anastasis and the exerces uh, but now Paul is letting us know uh, this is how we have to operate during the COVID-19 era can I talk to someone like I feel I was supposed to just teach tonight but I want to encourage somebody you got the anastasis and the exerces so Paul puts it this way and I quote he says we are troubled on every side yet we're not distress we are perplexed but we are not in despair he says we're persecuted but we are not forsaken we are cast down but we are not destroyed he says we're always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus that that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body in other words something in me has to die in order for that exerces to begin to produce life you see you wouldn't know that he's Jehovah Rophi unless you had ever been sick can I talk like I feel how did you know that he was a deliverer how did you know that he was Jehovah Shama is because he allowed you to die in loneliness you were sitting up on the side of your bed uh, with tears running down your eyes uh, you tried to tell your family uh, but they didn't understand you uh, you called your best friend uh, and they didn't understand you uh, and right when you thought you were going to take your life uh, Jehovah Shammah showed up uh, he sat right down on the side of your bed uh, and said you shall not die but live so Paul continues to say that we live we're always being delivered unto death for Jesus sake in other words the Lord has purposed it that we will go through plagues that we will go through hardship that we will go through poverty that we will go through loneliness that we will go through depressions that we will go through anxieties in order for his manifest glory uh, to be shown in our life uh, but that's not the kicker here uh, this is what I want you to hear uh, he says we having the same spirit uh, of faith uh, understand that the same faith uh, that Elisha had uh, is the same faith we got to have the same faith that Elijah had uh, is the same faith that we have to have the same faith that Moses had uh, is the same faith that we have to have uh, he says according as it is written uh, I believe and therefore I have spoken uh, in other words when you believe it uh, it's going to come up out of your mouth uh, I dare somebody to open up their mouth uh, and speak what you believe uh, if you believe you're coming out uh, go on and type it in and say I'm coming out uh, if you believe that you're going to be whole 
whole. Uh, go on and type it and say you're going to be made whole. Uh, one of the daughters of Zion uh, called me in first lady. Uh, she was worried about a sickness. Uh, she said they did all the tests uh, and they came back negative. Uh, they said that it was the flu, but it wasn't the flu. Uh, so they said, well, uh, we're going to have to test you for COVID-19. Uh, I got a word this morning uh, that it came back negative. Uh, you see, God has a way uh, of bringing you to a place uh, to where all you can trust is in God. Uh, he says, now uh, we always know that this faith uh, is according to uh, and therefore I have to speak it. Uh, I dare you to speak what you believe. Uh, say, my children are going to be blessed. Uh, in fact, that ain't enough faith. Uh, say, my children are blessed. Uh, say, my house is blessed. Uh, say, my body is blessed uh, say the church is blessed uh, say my spouse is blessed uh, in the name of Jesus uh, so here's the message tonight uh, for he says knowing that he which raised up the Lord Jesus he which brought Jesus back to life he who was the egersis for Jesus he the name that couldn't be spoken in the Old Testament he they called him Yahweh he they called him Jehovah Shalom he they called him him Jehovah Jireh he they called him Maccabees he that one that was the burning bush that would not go out the same God that raised up Jesus from the dead shall raise us up by Jesus y'all got to hear what I'm saying that's why you got to put your faith in Jesus so the same one that raised up Jesus Jesus from the dead uh, is now passing Jesus to you. Uh, Jesus in the morning. Uh, Jesus in the new day. Uh, Jesus when the sun go down. Uh, you got to understand uh, that when I got Jesus uh, I have anastasis. Uh, he brings me back to life. Uh, when my lungs uh, are about to go down uh, he resurrects me. Uh, is there anybody here uh, that says pastor uh, I got a testimony of how God can raise you up I was dead in my grave and God brought me back I believe that the same God that held me when I was a child the same God that brought me out of darkness into this marvelous light the same God that brought me a beautiful wife the same God that healed my body that healed my soul that brought me back is the same God who's gonna do it again go ahead and type into your computer he's gonna do it again it's the same God he's gonna do it again and then he'll do it again then he'll do it again then he'll do it again and do it again and do it again and do it again <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah come on and celebrate Jesus come on and shout in your living room come on and lift your hands and say the same God hey. tonight he sent me to preach a message to you that the same God that resurrected the widow's woman, the Shunammite woman, the dead man that touched Elijah's bones, Tabitha, Dorcas, Eutychus, Jairus' daughter, the widow at name, Lazarus, and Jesus is now using Jesus to resurrect us and to bring us in to life i know all of you may not understand what's happening during this time i'm 46 years old now 
Some say that's young, but I now, if the Lord were to bless me with 80 years, I have to believe now I'm on the downtread of my life. I've come too far in human terms to go back. Can't stop now. And I'm too close to give up. Now this is not for everybody what I'm about to say. But I don't want to live in this world without Jesus. I don't want a day to go by and I call on his name and I don't feel nothing. I just have to believe that this same God who raised up Jesus from the dead is now the same God who by Jesus will also raise us up as Paul said. Do you have him today? Oh, I heard you in your arrogance. I heard you. You said, yeah, I do. Is he sitting up on the shelf in your house, though? You can ask me, Pastor, do you have a vase? Yeah, I say, yeah, I got a vase. I got a vase. But, but, but it's sitting up on the shelf. I don't look at it. It now is just a piece of furniture that's the same with the rest of them. Many of us have done that to our Jesus. He is on the wall with everything else. He's with our entertainment. He's with everything. I want you to know, Jesus wants to be the Alpha and Omega. He wants to be the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. He wants you to know that the same God who did it before is the same God who can do it again. In fact, I want you to type that. Last typing of the night. He can do it again. He can do it again. He can do it again. I needed to encourage you as you're going into your week. None of us know. None of us know. I've seen prophets get up, and they are real prophets. But then their arrogance, they talk about how sickness is not going to come nigh them, and then they died of something. You done sent all your money to them, and they died of something. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. All I know is that when I get done with this life, I want to die on E. I want to empty out my tank for Jesus Christ. Because the only way for me to have any hope in the next life is if I embrace this Jesus who is my anastasis and my agerses. He is my resurrection. Dear gracious Father, I bless you for your people. They're liking and sharing right now, God. They're sending this word out. I pray somebody has a dead relationship with you. I ask that you resurrect it right now. You sanctify them right now. You cleanse them right now. You make them whole right now. Somebody needs to repent. They turn right now. And now somebody is looking at their bank account. They're waiting on a call back from their job that has laid them off. Or they're at a stay right now. And they're saying, when is this going to end? It will end when his people who are called by his name humble themselves and pray and seek his face, turn from their wicked ways. He said, I'm going to hear from heaven. I believe the Lord is starting to hear some things he likes. And that is his people declaring, you are the same so, Lord, we trust you for resurrection tonight. On this resurrection day, we trust you for resurrection. And we give your name the glory and the honor. Lord, bless churches all over Fresno. Bless churches all over this world. Bless churches all over this country. Keep the members of the house of God safe. Give them hope. And I glorify you in Jesus' name. Amen. Listen, if you prayed that prayer, you ain't saved. But you have made a step towards the living Savior. 
If you need to be saved, I want you to send us an email. We want to send you some literature. Glory be to God. Send it to BethesdaExperience at gmail.com. But I need everybody who's watching this, and I know you can. I know you can. I, I want to I wanna call our admin after this, and I want them to give me a good report. I want you to sow a seed of $20. I want you to sow a seed of $20. We're trying to bless people. We're trying to move forward. This week, as you saw in text, B2EXP to 77977. B2EXP to 77977. This week, we have Tuesday night Bible study at CCC Fresno. We have Wednesday night Bible study at Bethesda Churches. On Tuesday, we also have Bible study, a teaching in Revelation at Bethesda Southeast. But then you're going to see, I want you to go to Pastor Tobias Brookings Ministries. I'm going to be sending some things out about us being on Zoom. Now, I realize their stock has fallen. There were some, some security issues. But we ain't saying and talking about nothing, amen, they can't be out there. So if China want to hear it, let them hear it, or whoever, Russia, or whatever. But we want to meet via Zoom because let's look at each other. Let, let's have community. Would you do that? Those of you who are connecting with the house of God, connecting with the ministry, connecting to my teaching, let's Zoom together <laughs> so that we can see each other. All of our specialty group meetings are going to be through Zoom. I want you to connect up. If you haven't already liked but there's the churches, please like it right now. Then go over to Bethesda Southeast, like it. Then go at CCC Fresno, like it. I want you to like all the churches of Bethesda churches. In the way of announcements, at the end of this week, the federal government said they're going to start sending stimulus checks. $1,200 for an individual, $2,400 for a family, $500 for each kid. If you've already completed your taxes, and you want to see whether it's registered with the IRS already, you can go up to the irs.gov. They have a little link there that says check your refund status. You can go ahead and check that. And if you did put in your direct deposit account, they're going to direct deposit that into your account. <clears throat> for those of you business owners here who have not signed up for the stimulus, the Paycheck Protection Program, do note, and some of you are small businesses, so you're worried about whether you have the paperwork and documentation. I want you to know you got to have that 941 form or that 1099 form together to submit that documentation. Want your business to be blessed. Remember that they are going to forgive all payroll, but anything like leases, rentals, stuff like that, they're only going to cover 25% of it. But right now, you need to stay open. Please make sure, Christian, that you use the money for what you asked it for. If it's for the employees, make sure you bless the employees. Don't hold back. We pray for our big, these large companies that they will continue to do right by employees. Amen. Some of our employees are in the line of fire. I mean, when that Amazon truck pulls up, I'm like, man, they're saying that cardboard now got the COVID-9. This man been carrying cardboard all day. Glory be to God. Amen. Give that man some more money. Amen. But money ain't going to save your life. We're asking for more money. Amen. If I got to have burning lungs and all of that, ain't no money going to pay for that. I guess if you got to go, you got to go or something. Anyway, so listen, I want you to connect. Some of you are now starting to get offline. Before you get offline, can you help me out? Like, share, like, share. And I'm trusting that God be the same in your life and that he be the same as mine. This week also, I want to celebrate out. My wife has a new book. It is her first book. So we're going to set aside a a social media time when her, her and I are going to talk about that book. It's called The Anatomy of Anger. And some of y'all mad. Amen. You women, amen. The Diary of the Mad Woman. Well, guess what? My wife got some healing for you. She got a great book out. So I want you to connect with us. God bless you and may he keep you. And remember, you are 
a champion through Jesus Christ. God bless you.